What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of my favorite starters of all time, Sceptile. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, today we are using Sceptile and I have loved this starter probably the most ever since it's been released in Gen 3. I just love its design. I just love it all around. It is just a super cool Pokemon and I cannot wait to use them in the BDSP ladder. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with Sceptile over here, we gave it the Focus Sash as its item so it does not get KO'd in one turn. And then its EVs are fully invested into attack and speed alongside with that Overgrow ability. Move set for this guy is going to be Swords Dance, Leaf Blade for Stab, Protect, and Dragon Claw for coverage. But one thing about this Pokemon is its special attack is higher than its physical attack, but its physical attack move pool is way better. So I figured we boost its attack into EVs, and then we throw this thing Swords Dance to give it a boost in that attack stat as well, just so we can use better moves, and I feel like this could work better all around for Sceptile. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Weavile over here. I feel like we need a Pokemon to help our Sceptile set up, so I think Weavile worked perfectly because we got Speed Control with that, and we got Fake Out Control with it. We got Fake Out, Ice Punch, Icy Wind, and Night Slash for the move moveset. Its ability is going to be Pressure, and then the item it is holding is going to be that extra belt to boost super effective damage. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be our OP Scissor over here. Scissor is just phenomenal in all situations. It's got that Life Orb as item, it's got the Technician ability, and it's rocking Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Sword Dance, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset for any Scissor. Next Pokemon on today's team is going to be Star Raptor, and I absolutely love this Star Raptor build right here. It's got Close Combat, it's got Brave bird it's got u-turn and double edge for stab then it's rocking to intimidate as its ability then its item is going to be that choice scarf so it can pretty much outspeed anybody we can get intimidates right off the bat and then we can u-turn out with the u-turn and you know we're going to be able to outspeed because choice scarf then we can constantly just keep intimidate pressuring with this pokemon and if we want to do some big damage it's got the brave bird it's got the double edge it's got the close combat so i absolutely adore this moveset and this whole build on the star raptor Next Pokemon is going to be Gyarados, another heavy physical attacker with Intimidate. It's got, its moveset is going to be Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance, Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before with a Gyarados. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Pachirisu, and I want to give a different support mod on our BDSP team. So I threw Pachirisu in here, and I really like this Pokemon. It's got Follow Me, it's got Protect, it's got Super Fang, and it's got Nuzzle for more speed control with this team. Its ability is going to be Volt Absorb, so say your Gyarados is going to get, get hit by an electric move, we can swap him in and actually protect Patrizio and get some more HP with it, which is really, really good. Item for this Pokemon is going to be at Citrus Berry, so when it falls below half, it gets more HP and it can stay in the battle and protect your ally Pokemon a little bit longer. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop into the Coliseum. Look to grab some wins with this Sceptile team. First battle is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a crazy strong Swift Swim team. He's got Swift Swim Armado alongside with Swift Swim Polyrath, and then he's got Lapras, which if I had to guess is Rock and Water Absorb instead of Shell Armor, and then he has Raikou and Parasect. Okay, I don't really know what Parasect does, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I definitely got to bring my boy Sceptile in here, so I might go Sceptile and Weebile just for a bit of speed control fake out. Maybe try to set up a Sword Stance and get going from there. I kind of do dig that. So Weavile Sceptile could definitely come in here. We could bring Pachirisu because, you know, Pachirisu does rock here. It does have Volt Absorb. It does have Nuzzle. Can go from there. I do like that. And then our final Pokemon. Or we don't even need Pachirisu. We really don't. I could definitely bring Scissor. Scissor can get some work done. But a Pokemon like Gyarados could be pretty solid here as well. If the rain set, we can hit hard with some water moves. We can kind of roll off from there. I could go Star Raptor. But again, Electric from that Raikou can do me dirty. So I kind of want to go Scissor. And then in the final spot, probably go like Gyarados. Right, Gyarados does sound good. Pachirisu would be good, but it doesn't really have any electric moves to hit hard. It just has speed control with nose. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to end up doing this. I kind of dig it. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one with Sceptile. BDSP is so much fun to play. I always love hopping onto the BDSP ladder once or twice a week to record a video for you guys because it's just so much fun and it's a good change of pace from Sword Shield. It's definitely a good change of pace from Sword Shield, but let's see who our opponent ends up leading. It's going to be Pelper and somebody. It's going to be Raikou and Parasect, and I don't really know what Parasect does, but I definitely want to set up a Sword Dance here. I'm going to... Oh, Raikou can't be faked out. Raikou cannot be faked out. Um, I mean, we could just go straight into a Sword Dance into, like, a, a fake out onto the Parasect. That kind of dig. So I'm going to fake out the Parasect. We're going to see what this Raikou really wants to do here. We're going to see what this Raikou wants to do here. 
But I really don't know what it does for him to do. Because I can always ice punch the parasite and kind of get rid of it. But she might hard swap it. Maybe I should just attack the uh, Raikou. I could just attack the Raikou, but I don't know what this Parasect wants it to do. Raikou can come in here with a Thunderbolt. It can do a lot. I probably should have went in the Pachirisu. The Pachirisu lead probably would have been phenomenal. Just follow me all these electric moves. But Raikou can set up screens. He can hit hard. He can calm mind. He has multiple different options that it can go into. So hopefully it is... I don't even know. Hopefully, I don't even know what I want it to do. I really don't know what I want to do. Hopefully it protects, to be honest. <laughs> hopefully it protects for some reason or swaps. That could be a good term for us if it swaps or protects. But it does have inner focus, and luckily I remembered, so it cannot be faked out. So he's going to end up protecting who? Raikou. Oh, beautiful. 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 So he ends up protecting Raikou. We get off a big time fake out onto the Parasect. Chip up some damage, and we get a free Swords Dance set up. So Sceptile is getting after it. Sceptile is getting after it. It's a big boost onto that uh, attack field, and now I just feel like I could Ice Punch, or I could slow down Raikou. I can just straight up Leaf Blade into the Raikou, which is exactly what I want to do. And do I want to Ice Punch and get rid of it? I feel like I should. I feel like I should just Ice Punch and try to get rid of this Parasect. Because if the Parasect stays in here, we can Ice Punch him with Expert Belt and take it out in one shot. And then if Raikou outspeeds, he's not going to be able to take out Sceptile due to her Focus Ash. And then I can Ice you when it kind of gets some speed control next turn. I'm with that all day. I really do like this turn. Solid start from us for BDSP. Solid, solid start. I was just saying, I was like, hopefully the Raikou protects or swaps. That would be the best option for us. And that is exactly what happened. So that was the best possible option that could happen for us right now. He ends up withdrawing. Right? Oh my god, yo. Who are you going into here? Who are you going into here? A water Pokemon? Pelper. Okay, so Pelper is going to be neutral to this, but we can take out Pelper. We can take out Pelper here. Guzzle is going to come out here. We should be able to take out the Parasect. We could definitely be able to take out the Pelper as well. And he swaps. He's going to go into Pyrath or he's going to go into here. He's going into it's gonna be Armado, and I do not mind an Armado here. So Ice Punch is gonna do some work onto it. I'm gonna freeze. We get the freeze. Oh my god. Oh my lord. RNG, thank you. Leaf Blade coming in hot, sending it, and we almost get rid of that Pokemon. So an Icy Wind, I think, might be able to take that out. I kinda just want an Icy Wind and go into Leaf Blade onto this slot. And I'm gonna hope that uh, Armado is frozen this turn. And if Armado is frozen this turn, we pretty much just win this battle, and we can have a chance to sweep it. It's gonna protect the Pelp, which is totally fine. Armado, are you still frozen? I know it's Swift Swim. Oh, we outspeed. Wow, we've out outspeeds Armado. Swift Swim Armado. If I had to guess, it's gotta be Swift Swim, right? So we're gonna lower its speed, and now Sceptile has a chance to outspeed it. Maybe, maybe not. Again, that thing's cooking. It does. Wow, yo. See you later, Armado. Get it on out of here, yo. Sceptile is rolling out. Swords Dance Sceptile, OP, man. This thing is just buzzing at this point. Okay, so he has to either bring out Parasect or Raikou. Weavile can just... I, it's, it's over with. We just Icy Wind Speed Control and we just Leaf Blade out. Wait, right? it's GG's. It's GG's all day. So if he goes into Parasect, I'm just going to Ice Punch it. He goes into Raikou, so I am going to Icy Wind and Leaf Blade into it. He might end up protecting that, but I think Icy Wind can do enough damage to take out the Pelipper. But he could just cancel Battle, yo. This is going to be a clean sweep for Battle number 1. The cleanest of sweeps with Sceptile. Gotta love when we're showcasing the Pokemon in BDSP, just sweeping in Battle number 1. The best feeling ever. Ice Wind comes out here. Who dodged that? Are they, are they gonna ruin my sweep? Can you take out the Pelper? I'm gonna hit the Raikou. Okay, that ain't too bad because Pelper, uh, Pelper can take out Weavile. It's definitely possible. Leaf Blade's gonna come in hot here and we're just gonna dump on the Raikou. Yo, this game is over. We're just ripping into Pokemon. He could go into a Hurricane into my Sceptile, which I think he's gonna do. Yep, and Sceptile does have Focus Ash, which is beautiful. As long as we don't get ducked on. Do we get ducks? We don't get ducks. He gets a crit instead. But Focus Ash popping out. That's the exact reason why I put it on. And now our Overgrow ability triggers. So if you guys do not know what Overgrow does, when this Pokemon's health falls below, I think one third, it gets a boost in in, uh, in grass damage. I think it might be a 1.5 times multiplier. But it could do some crazy damage. We could go into a Leaf Blade, um, which we are going to do. We outspeed everybody. I'm just going to Leaf Blade you and just Ice Punch across this board. And hopefully we keep this sweep. This battle's over with. Unless he has a first turn priority move, which... I don't think any of these Pokemon do learn. Right, Pelper can't learn Ice Shard, I don't believe. Parasect. Parasect stinks. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> I don't even know what it's used for. Maybe Rage Powder? I guess it's used for, like, spores and stuff. So he's going to end up protecting. I do think this Ice Punch finishes this thing off. It's just too much damage coming in, especially with the Expert Belt. Yep, it takes it out. And that that's all. All day sweep. A sweep coming out all day. Perfect turn one for us with the Fake Out and the uh, Sword Stand setup. And we were just rolling from there. Sceptile had to use his Focus Ash, but that's the only damage we took. 
That is the only damage we took. And it is because Pelper dodged the move. So I'm just going to leaf way across here and then just drop a nice little ice punch. But again, I think our opponent just canceled the battle, right? He does cancel the battle. There it is. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's get a win streak rolling by grabbing ourselves a win here in battle number two. We are going up against the same opponent, but they did bring a brand new team. This team's looking really, really good. I definitely got to bring in my Gyarados, but I got to watch out for Storm Drain Claydily. That is always a, always a problem. But um, Scissor could be solid here too. I feel like Intimidate could work really well off the rip too because he has a lot of physical attackers. So I feel like Star Raptor is just a solid lead. So I'm going to go Star Raptor here. I might lead Gyarados. Do I go in with double Intimidate or do I just go in with Scissor and maybe try to... Mm, if he goes Entei here, that would be a problem. That would be a problem if he goes Entei. But I don't think he is going to go Entei. Do we think he's going to go Entei for the, the lead? Do we think he's going to go Entei for the lead? I mean, he could because I do have Sceptile as well. I mean, I could go Gyarados. I think Gyarados would be a better option here. Gyarados just gets a lot of value here. Then I'm going to go Gyarados. We do have Ice Fang on that Gyarados in case he wants to bring in the Claydoly. And then we can bring Scissor and Sceptile or Weavile. Sceptile is not too bad. I mean, we have a lot of uh, Intimidate control. Sceptile could be good up against a few. I know Weavile can't handle that Scissor, so I feel like Sceptile is going to be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna go Sceptile here. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it down. And we're gonna look to go back to back here in battle number two. But I wonder who he's gonna lead. I'm gonna lead double intimidate. So hopefully he goes physical attackers. He does go Entei. Entei and Storm Drain. Okay, so Entei and Storm Drain clearly is gonna come out here. Intimidate's gonna do nothing. Um Okay. And what can I do here? What can I do here? I could double edge. I could choice to a double edge here. Maybe just ice fang the clearly, like, because I cannot go into a, a water move here. So I'm gonna I mean, I could U-turn out and go into, uh, I don't want to go into Scissor or Sceptile. I kind of just want to stay in here. Good close combat. Good U-turn out. Um, I think I'm just going to double edge here. Get off some stab damage and just Ice Fang across the board. Or I can D-Dance here. Maybe think of Protect's coming. I mean, what could clearly really do here? It does have a rock move. I think I'm just going to D-Dance. I think I am just going to D-Dance up and try to... Try to get rolling from there. Have Star Raptor do some big damage with Double Edge. It is stab. It, we are going to take some mean recoil damage, but I just feel like it, we're better off going into a stab move instead of you turning out here because we have two Pokemon that are weak to Entei in the back end. So if I can just get rid of Entei, those two Pokemon can thrive out in the battle and probably pick us up a win. So we'll see what he wants to do here. The best option here would be like a Protect from Claydoly. But we know Storm Drain. We know it in our head. He's going to end up protect. Oh my god, yo. Another solid turn for us. He protects Claydol here. That's beautiful. Double Edge is going to fly through here. And that's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. A ridiculous amount of damage. Maybe he'll go into a Will-O-Wisp on me. He's going to go Sacred Fire into Star Raptor Slot. Can you eat that? You do not. And I'm cool with that turn. I really am. Because now I got D-Dance out on the field. Um, What can I do from here? He's going to take some life for damage. I D-Dance up here. And... I could scissor should be able to take out the Entei, right? Or Septile. I don't know if Septile outspeeds. I'm thinking a scissor bullet punch can take him out, right? Or I can just ice fan. What do I want to do into this? What does Jeans want to do? Septile is not too bad. I mean Septile, I just don't think Septile outspeeds. That's a problem. I don't think Septile outspeeds that Entei. I mean, I do have Focus Ash, but I really don't want to send it. I mean, you are Jolly, and you are Max in speed. You are really fast. You are super fast. I might trust that Sceptile outspeeds here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save my Scissor for the back end. I'm going to trust that he outspeeds. All right, let's get a Sceptile. So Sceptile is going to hop in here. I am just going to Dragon Claw right into the slot, because Dragon Claw should be able to do enough damage. And then Ice Fang across the board here into the Claydoly is probably my best bet. So Gyarados should go first here. I'm hoping Sceptile can outspeed. We made it jolly. We invested all of our EVs in speed. I'm hoping it can. I don't want to waste our speed EVs and waste that turn. But I think Bull Punch might have been able to take that day out. It is really low. But the thing is, it, say we don't we don't outspeed him. He's just going to take our fire us. We're going to trigger Focus Ash. So it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Because the best part about that is we set up our Gyarados. Our Gyar Gyarados is plus one attack plus one speak because of that dragon ants and that was just a huge turn all around so like i said if i can get rid of this entei if this entei can can just get on out of here we have two pokemon with sceptile and scissor that can really thrive out in this battle 
So let's see what he goes into here. He's gonna end up withdrawing Entei. So he withdraws Entei, he wants to save it for later. That's totally fine. And he's gonna go into who? Who's not gonna take this Dragon Claw too well? Oh, dude, if we were going into a Leaf Blade, that could've been beautiful. Ice Fang's gonna fly. Gonna be super effective. Give me the Freeze. Give me the Freeze. No Freeze comes out here, and Dragon Claw is gonna play here. Dragon Claw coming in hot here. Is this thing dropping a Rock move? He's gonna go for an Ancient Power. Soak that. You do soak that. Okay, so that's a solid soak. I think at this point, we just... He's gonna protect. Right, clearly has to protect here, right? To get some more HP. Right, clearly has to protect. So, you know what? I'm just gonna Leaf Blade here. Clearly has to protect. He has to protect. I'm gonna go into a Dragon Dance here. I'm gonna Dragon Dance and read this protect all day. Yep, there it is. Beautiful play by us. So, we're gonna Dragon Dance. We read the protect. Leaf Blade should be able to come out here and finish that off. And we get off another Dragon Dance. So, our next, our next Ice Fang should be able to take out that clearly. Yo, what a turn. What a turn. Big time hard reach from us. Leaf Blade's flying out here. And yo, this thing's rocking the window, Barry. It's rocking the window. It's rocking the window. I could have Swords Dance there. It's rocking the window. He's going to end up going into... Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a play. Um, we could eat up another Ancient Power. I could Swords Dance here. That's a great play by him. Kirkham coming out here. Again, Ice Fang KOs that. But can we eat up another... Can we eat up another Ancient Power? I think we can. We get a low roll. So I'm just going to Leaf Blade. I am going to go into an Ice Fang. And I'm not going to lie. That Trick Room kind of helps out. Now we're what's it called. That Trick Room definitely helps out our Scissor. But we have to get rid of this Claydoly right here, right now. Right here, right now, the Claydoly has to go. He's going to end up going for a Storm Drain Surf here. And that is now going to KO us. That was a beautiful turn by him. What a turn by him all day. It's big time turn. So he's going to get rid of my Claydoly here. Um, I have Scissor in the back end. And I wonder what he's going to... I wonder how this one's going to play out here. Hopefully he doesn't get the stat boost. This could get ugly real fast. Critical hits come out here. That was a great play by him. Because, again, I thought we would have been able to soak up another Ancient Power. But due to that special attack boost, that was just a great play. Leaf Blade flies out here. We pick up the KO. We no longer have our Sash on our... Uh, on our Sceptile. We get a crit, but I think critical hits are boosted. Or the ratio is boosted with Sceptile's Leaf Blade. So it's not like RNG was completely on our side there. Okay, so we have to bring out Scissor. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. That trick and play was phenomenal. That trick and play was really good. So I bring out Scissor. I know I'm super effective onto that clay lily with a bullet punch. I could definitely take it out. But it could go into Entei. And, that, and at that point, if he goes into Entei, I might want to just target that thing now. He's going to go into Scissor of his own. Okay. Do we read another protect from the clay lily? Could. I could Swords Dance this thing. I might double Swords Dance here. I'm not even lying. I might just double Swords Dance. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think Claydoly protects again. Oh my god, yo. The Claydoly protect reads are on point today. <laughs> they are on point. I'm gonna Swords Dance on my Scissor. My Scissor is slower, which is nice. These Claydoly protect reads are insane right now. And he's gonna end up going into an aerial. Ooh, into my Scissor. Okay. So he goes to my Scissor, and now I have double Swords Dance up. Okay, uh... Problem here is, can we eat up another? Can we eat up another aerial ace? That's the problem here. And I don't know how many turns are left in Trick Room, but my scissor does thrive off of it. So I really just want to leap blade or like fall into this silver. Maybe look for a crit. I don't know how much damage we're gonna do, but a bull punch will KO here. Or what do I do here? Aerial. I think we can eat up another aerial. I'm just gonna bullet punch and take out this guy. I'm gonna end up withdrawing. Okay, so we get rid of the Entei. Bullet punch will take out Entei all day. Entei is low HP. Entei is low HP, so Entei is dead. And then we go from there. It's not a bad turn. Yo, we're out reading this Claydoly all day. I think we read three protects from it. I think we read three protects from Claydoly. Or two. Oh, but life or damage might KO me. That sucks, man. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Life orb doing me dirty. Now I was going to give this thing the metal coat today. I was going to give it the metal coat. I was going to give it the metal coat because we definitely needed him for one more turn. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul because now we can just aerial ace him and take me out. That's GG's. Maybe I should just X scissor into that scissor, but that is going to be battle number two. We're going to end up losing it, but one on one for today's video, we can hop into our third and look for a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, and our opponent decided to switch back to his Swift Swim theme. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could go Pachirisu. 
and I could go with hmm, Scissor or Sceptile. I definitely want to leave Pachirisu and get it in this battle. Pachirisu is just such a cool Pokemon. It has some speed control with Nuzzle. It can both absorb some shots. I might go Gyarados alongside with this, but the problem is he has a lot of water Pokemon. We don't like water Pokemon. I could go Sceptile. Sceptile is probably the easy play. Scissor is not too bad here. Or I could even go with Star Raptor, but I would rather go in with somebody with Swords Dance or Dragon Dance, right? Get somebody set up while Pachirisu is out on the field. So I could just go Gyarados and start de dancing him up. He can do some work. He can indeed do some work. I, I did dig it. I did dig it. So, you know, I'm going to go Gary. You know, Gary the Gyarados here. I'm going to bring Sceptile in the back end because Sceptile is sick. And then either Star Raptor or Skizzy. And I'm leaning towards uh, Star Raptor here a bit more. I just like Star Raptor. Let's go Star Raptor. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But yo, that last battle was this close. It was such a good battle. He really came in clutch with that slow bro coming in there and popping his trick room. I was not expecting that. And plus that Rindo Berry definitely clutched up because he was able to eat up my Leaf Blade and then he was able to pop the trick room in that same turn, which was huge for him. It definitely was huge for him. But that Claydoly, man. That Claydoly doing me dirty. Doing me dirty. But after that, he just surfed, boosted its attack, and went to an ancient power and, take, and took me out. He's gonna end up going into these two, which I'm pretty fine with, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go Gyarados, I'm gonna go Pachirisu. We are going to intimidate Armado, who I think is a physical attacker, right? Armado is a physical attacker. I mean, he can Hurricane. I could protect and start nuzzling down, getting a bit more speed control. But the rain is going to be upon us, so he is gonna rain. I think I might just protect the Gary. Gyarados is probably the big threat. And I might just nuzzle this shot, right? Start slowing down, everybody. I could go for D-Dance here. I could go for a Waterfall. I feel like I just have to protect this thing. Because if it's going for a Rock move, it is going to come in hot into me. And I do not have the speed yet, so I'd rather just Nuzzle. And then maybe Waterfall next turn. But we'll see. We'll see. Because it might have Rock Slide. I think when I used Armando, I, I threw Rock Slide on it. I think I threw Rock Slide next to I think those were the two moves I was, I was rolling with. But Armado is super, super strong. It's definitely a really good Pokemon. And a really fun Pokemon to use because you don't get to see it too much. One of my favorite fossil Pokemon in, in, in all honesty. I really do like him. Him and Kabutops are sick. And I think they're both water and... No, he's not even water. Kabutops is water and rock. That thing is bug and rock. He is a bug and rock Pokemon with Swift Swim, which is so cool. So I'm going to end up protecting my beautiful dragon over here, just Gyarados. And he's going to end up going for a rock slide. I'm totally cool with it. We're going to slow it down. I'll take it out next turn. And Patchy dodges that attack, which is huge. And he doubles down in the Gyarados. So it's such a big protect from us. We've been reading this opponent with protects and all that good stuff all day. So we're going to nuzzle. We are going to paralyze. I think Waterfall can just get rid of that fifth one. And I think I just nuzzle up onto that uh, helper as well. Or I could Super Fang and half health it, but I just feel like Speed Control is a huge factor right now. I'm going to Waterfall down here. I'm going to nuzzle again and... Pachirisu is going to get some work done. Pachirisu is actually really good on the support field. Because again, Nuzzle for Speed Control. You have Follow Me. This thing is really, really bulky, especially with the Citrus Berry. And then it also has Super Fang, which can half HP. So if you're going up against a bulky Pokemon, if you use Super Fang, it takes out half of their HP, which is... It, it, that's a huge chunk. It's a huge chunk. Like, say you're going up like against like a Blissey or like somebody who's bulked up due to defense boost and all that stuff. Pachirisu is just really good. It's just really good all around. So, Gyarados is now fast on the field. Waterfall is going to fly. We're going to dump on Armada. So, that nuzzle first turn and that protect was perfect. Pelper should go next. And I think it's just going to go for another Scald. Maybe look for a burn. Right? Yep. Scald's going to come through here. My boy eats that up all day. If you get a burn, I have Lumberry. I'm fine with that. You don't even get the burn. So, we keep our Lumberry and then we nuzzle down onto this Pelper, which is huge. The Pelper is now paralyzed. So, I can go into follow me next turn. I could soak up some shots or I could nuzzle again. I might just protect, nuzzle his next Pokemon. And then follow me out. I wonder what he's going to do here. I could follow me in Dragon Dance here. Because Polyrath can come in here and Polyrath might just dump on my Patchy, right? Do I go for Nuzzle? Nuzzle Dragon Dance? Or do I protect Gary? I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. Let's say he just goes, straight up goes after my Patchy, though. So I'm fine with that. He's going to go for a Waterfall. Is that in the Patchy? Yeah, he straight up goes into my Patchy. So that's a solid turn for us. The good thing I did end up going for that Dragon Dance. I think that turn worked out perfectly. I think this turn works out perfectly. So I get to get off a of Dragon Dance here. Pelper's going to go next. He can't take out my Gyarados. He might be able to take out my Patchy. But Patchy's going to go before and paralyze the Polyrath, which is enormous. 
So Nuzzle Speed Control from the Pachirisu all day. We love it. We love it. We love it. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's paralyzed. He can't move. Um, I am D-Dance up. And I could just go into a Super Fang and half this thing's health. I mean, do we outspeed it? I mean, follow me would probably be the player, right? I mean, I think he goes after me anyway, right? I could half your health. I could go into a waterfall. Could D dance again. Who do I have in the back end? I do have Star Raptor. I think we just D dance again and we follow me in shots. I guess I play all day. I think we just follow me in the shots and we D dance up again. Let Patrice drop out, bring in Star Raptor, kind of clean up this battle. Not too bad. I can bring in Sceptile. Dragon Dance coming out here. We have speed. Like I said, yo, Nuzzles is coming in hot. So I'm just going to set up my Gyarados at this point. Speed boost, attack boost. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Waterfall coming in hot. Can you eat that? Probably not. Yeah, you're dead. You die. Pelper has a chance to be paralyzed again. And we can soak up whatever shot he has to offer, right? He's going to be paralyzed again. That is huge. So at this point, I just bring out Sceptile. Sceptile is a dog. Loving this Pokemon. I was going to bring out Star Raptor for that, uh, Intimidate, but Sceptile outspeeds that Polyrath at this point. I mean, I can just go straight into a Leaf Blade. The Leaf Blade coming in hot. And then I can just Ice Fang right into this Paloops. This little Paloops. But yeah, we are sitting pretty here. We are sitting so pretty. So pretty. What a start by us for this battle, yo. The the Nuzzle, the, the read on the Protect. We get a double Protect in there, and then we set up a Dragon Dance. Everything works out perfectly. We have beautiful Speed Control. We get rid of the Armado. We have both of his Pokemon paralyzed right now. It's just game over. Yo. We've been playing so good today. I just feel like we've been playing so good. Our opponent did have a nice play in the, in the last battle with the Trick Room, but other than that, I feel like we've just been out reading him with the Protects. We've been reading his Clay Leaf Protects all day. We've been just making great plays all around. It's been perfect. It has been beautiful. It has been beautiful. So he's going to end up going into what? We go first anyway. We Ice Fang, and we don't get to take out the Pelipper, but we should be able to take out Pyrath, right? We do not. We do not. So big damage all around. Let's see what he ends up going into. We can go into Waterfall. Should be able to eat that up. You have Gratis, eat that up. And what's he going to go into from here? Helper is going to be paralyzed for its third turn in a row. I apologize, man. That's going to pretty much solidify <laughs> the battle. It's over with. It is over with. We'll go into an Ice Fang here. We'll go into a Leap Blade. And I think our opponent just cancels. Because we have speed. This is an easy double kill. And then it's going to be a 3D1 with a Pokemon that's Dragon Dance plus two. And my beautiful Sceptile with my Focus Ash still. Yes, Bowser. This guy has no way of winning this battle. No shot at winning this battle. Yep, there it is. Battle's canceled, and we go 2-1 and, and grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. It feels good to use my favorite starter in the BDSP ladder, and more importantly, grab ourselves a winning record with my favorite starter. But we played absolutely out of our mind today. I feel like we were reading our opponent like crazy, reading and protect, setting up perfectly, and making some great lead plays. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.